Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Um, as I was saying, because my video decided to cut out, so I guess this will be part two of that video. Um, if I had to put a label on what I was, if I had to put a label on it, which I don't like labels, but we're going to put a label on it for, you know, other people's sake, I guess. Um, I'd call myself an eclectic, an eclectic witch, I guess. But at this point, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. Like we all are. Nobody knows everything. Nobody, you know, is perfect in their faith. There's no such thing. We're human beings. So on that note, I'm still learning, especially now because I'm so confused and so out of tune with who I am and what I believe right now. Um, but, sorry, I have to look at my notes because there's just so much. I also want to just let people know, if you're feeling lost, step back. There's nothing wrong with feeling lost and there's nothing wrong with questioning what it is you believe or even who you are. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. We have to ask questions. If we don't ask questions, we're going to be stuck and we're going to be miserable. I was miserable for months. Now, part of that was my pregnancy, but the other part of it was spiritual. Inside, because I lost who I was. I'm still kind of lost as to who I am. But that's why I'm stepping back and I'm saying, okay, this is what I've learned. Is there something I missed? Is there something that I didn't catch before that I might see now? Like I said, I went back and research, went through the research for Asa True and found, oh, um, no, I don't, this doesn't make sense. This isn't what I think. This isn't what I believe. Well, I don't really like this part of it. This doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> so I had to go back. I had to, because if I didn't, then I'd be stuck in a spiritual path that kept me stuck. It's not a good feeling to be stuck. It's not. It's not a good feeling to be stuck at all. And that's that's the gist of it. You don't want to be stuck. So you have to do what you have to do in order to... He's crying. In order to find yourself and know who you are. And it will change over time. It has changed so much for me. But my son is crying, so I have to go. Um, blessings to everyone, and have a happy new year.